All right, it looks like we're up on the screen. Um, hi, I'm Scott Sissel. I'm a product manager at VMware, and I'm here today to talk to you about obviously Backstage and what VMware Tanzu is doing with Backstage and the Backstage open source project. So um, before we could jump in too much, what I want to talk about is kind of my background in um, open source projects through the years and how that I'm seeing kind of some of those learnings um, kind of take place in the Backstage community and seeing like what um, uh, kind of things that I noticed in those communities and that will help Backstage continue to grow and kind of the trends that we're seeing. Um, so I've, I've worked in, uh, in Backstage for about the last year. Um, before that, I worked from Cloud Foundry, Knative, and Cloud Native Build Packs. But obviously, kind of like the key thing that we see with any community is how it engages developers and how it engages um, making tools for those developers to contribute to the product. Um, every healthy OSS project has developers at its core. So we've definitely seen that here. Like the numbers we saw earlier today, it was great to see how much it's grown over the last uh, three years. And all the engagement, the room today, I was so, so surprised to see how this big of a room for, for Backstage, this is great to see all the people here. So uh, developers are coming to this, they're excited, they're engaged, they're, they're contributing to the, to the core project. But really what we want to do is make it th th those developers' lives are easier. And obviously Backstage is all about making developers more productive and making it easier for them to start uh, developing software in a secure way. So what we want to align to is kind of this, this, co this concept of developer flow and like really enable developers not only contributing to Backstage, but uh, the developers we're servicing Backstage to. Uh, we want to get them into a state of heightened focus and performance and heightened creativity called flow. So if you kind of look at, uh, if you've been a developer for long enough, you've known and you've achieved this before and you've had this or you, you really kind of know about those times when you're really just like honed in and you're shipping code and you're, everything's productive, everything's going right. So what we want to talk about here is I really want to focus in on this last, this last item here is the feeling of total control over a task. And at its core, Backstage is helping you get the information you need and actually get, remove the barriers to actually developing that type of code. So when we talk about a successful community and Backstage fulfilling its mission, I mean, I literally pulled this from like Backstage.io, is like we want to pr allow product teams and developers to ship high quality code quickly without compromising quality. And, or without, sorry, without uh, compromising autonomy. So giving developers and users, either the community contributors or developers in your organization, the ability to make the choices and the decisions they need to make. So that's kind of the key, the key step that I see and the key kind of um, thing that's taking hold in the community that, uh, that I see it's a positive signal so far. And it's great to see how much uh, kind of developer auto autonomy we are creating through the tooling and the experience in Backstage. But the next thing I want to focus on is the, the, the plugin ecosystem. And I, it is just exciting to see all the talks today and all the conversations we've had so far about the, the plugin ecosystem. But really, uh, what I want to focus in on um, and the trends that I've seen with any successful open source project is the extensibility of the platform itself. It's not just contributing to the core branch or the core kind of um, source code of the ecosystem. It's extending it in a way to make the ecosystem work for your use cases and your developers and your um, end users and making it work in a way that it keeps on growing, has that network effect, and then kind of creates this flywheel effect as well as well you're feeding back into the ecosystem. So with that though comes complexity and more um, uh, need to actually kind of control that, uh, that plugin, that customization to meet your developers and bring it back to them to like help them solve those uh, their problems quickly and getting those new plugins and those new experiences back to them to help them build the software and solve their business, their business problems. So with that, I want to thank everyone here because you are the reason why this community is so great and is continuing to thrive and to grow. All these contributions everyone's making and all these contributions that we're seeing into the community, seeing that graph that Meg just showed was great just to see how much this community is thriving. So. Um, what I want to talk about now is how Tanzu is kind of uh, taking on that challenge of helping um, maintain that um, plugin e ecosystem and bring it to your users. So with that today, VMware Tanzu is announcing the Tanzu Developer Configurator is now officially GA. It's a fully customizable backstage um, instance 
uh, or allows you to fully customize your Backstage instance via a single declarative configuration file. So it aligns kind of with what we're talking about with a declarative integration, CICD, GitOps principles, um, and also is, we're aligning it with the OSS declarative integration initiative that was, we're talking about today. So bringing that uh, project in our commercial form via the configurator and the open source project together to create this system of um, customizing and quickly getting out a, a custom backstage instance for your users in a secure and um, a declarative way into production. So you can backstage, or you can customize backstage in minutes uh, instead of weeks or months. So you can go through and do it via a configura single configuration file instead of having to um, actually go in and, and update the code and contribute or and integrate that yourself and rebuild. Um, and then we already have a handful of support for the listed. Um, uh, validated plugins below, and that list will continue to grow, as well as bringing, uh, you can bring your own custom third-party plugins into this as well. So um, I know we're at a little bit close to a break right now, so I want to end right now, so I'll give you guys, everyone's time for their full break, but I'm happy to take questions or talk to folks outside afterwards, but uh, thank you so much.